Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and got a little channel update for everyone today. Hit a little bit of a milestone this week, and let me drag Chrome over here and open it up. As you can see on YouTube, we are now sitting at 3,021 subscribers. I broke the 3,000 subscriber barrier this week. So, a big thank you to all the subscribers and to everybody that's, uh, you know, not only the people that just subscribed, but the people that have been with me since uh, day one, which is about two years ago now. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been that long, but uh, yeah, I've been doing this a while now, I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, just thanks to everybody, and you are helping me uh, achieve my goal of making this YouTube thing and blogging thing and that and that sort of thing a full-time job as opposed to a part-time one. Um, you know, as many of you know, from uh, back in December, I had lost my job and then, you know, got a new one in January. And, uh, you know, my my eventual goal is, like I said, making this this YouTube and blogging thing a full time thing. Not that I, I hate my job that I've got right now, but there is no better feeling than uh, being your own boss and and being in, being in charge so anyway having said all that once again thanks to all the subscribers uh you keep getting your friends and, and relatives and that to uh to subscribe to the channel and i'll tr keep trying to crank out the great content so uh moving on from that um let me go to my blog page here and those of you that have been to my blog before if you if you've been there in the past few days you noticed a lot of changes I've been kind of refocusing everything on the blog whereas before you know I had you know all my writing and and political stuff and and uh, uh, you know just all kinds of a lot of sci-fi stuff my focus is now is going to be just the Linux slash tech stuff um, not that the other stuff isn't there. If you look up at the menu at the top, I've got uh, where it says random writing. It's basically all the other stuff. But the main focus is going to be uh, the Linux and, and, and tech stuff and promoting my YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, if you haven't been, if you haven't been there before, please go and visit it. There's stuff that... Um, isn't on my YouTube channel that'll be that'll be on the blog uh, there's a post I'm going to put up later today an opinion post um, just uh, talking a little bit about why for my main distro I keep going back to Ubuntu based distros all the time so like I said there's going to be stuff up there that's not on the YouTube channel um, and one of the things that I just recently added to the sidebar here, see where it says uh, Linux news from around the web, I have RSS feeds from uh, not every Linux blog that's out there, but the ones that I visit the most. Uh, just the latest post from that particular uh, from that particular uh, blog. So if you want to kind of check out what's new, you know, you can go to my my uh, blog and take a look at the uh, sidebar here and you know just go and pick one of the you know if there's something of interest click one and it'll take you to that particular web page so that kind of brings me to my next order of business for today is I wanted to give a few shout outs to some websites and uh, and some some uh, youtubers first of all is freedom penguin uh, which is actually the first blog that I have listed here in Linux news from around the world and Freedom Penguin is run by Matt Hartley for those of you that have watched the uh, the Linux action show for for several years uh, you know he uh, he used to be one of the co-hosts on uh, on on that show and what was the other show that he did um, uh, Linux Unplugged, I think he was on that one for a while. But anyway, um, you know, he did that. He's been he's been doing this blog for a while, and uh, just recently, I kind of you know started reading the stuff that he that they're cranking out on his blog. Really, really good stuff. Some awesome how to. So definitely check out uh, uh, Freedom Penguin, and uh, I'll leave a link down below so that uh, you can you can find Freedom Penguin. 
Another one is Open Floss Training. Um, once again, some really good content here. Uh, he's getting started with doing some YouTube videos as well. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Um, not a whole lot of videos yet, uh, uh, but you know, kind of just getting started with the YouTube thing. So I uh, wanted to give him a shout out. Uh, not a whole lot of content there yet, but everything that I'm looking at, very, very good stuff. So, uh, uh, you know, I always want to lend a helping hand to anybody that's getting getting started because I know what it was like when I was getting, uh, you know, my YouTube channel started and all that kind of stuff. And then another new YouTuber right here. Uh, we've got Kip Linux Tips. And uh, once again, not a lot of content right now, but the content that I've been reading, very, very good stuff. And uh, definitely want to check that out. So what kind of good stuff we're going to be seeing on the YouTube channel in the near future? Well, right now on uh, on my testing partitions, I have Cora 23, the Cinnamon version. Uh, I also have Linux Mint 17.3, the XFCE version. That one's kind of overdue. Had a few people that asked for it, and I promised that I would take a look at the XFCE version. So I'm going to try to get that one done and out of the way. I've also downloaded all the available betas for uh, Ubuntu 16.04 series. So I've been playing with those. I think 16.04 is going to be a real, real good release. Uh, it's really looking solid. So uh, um, we'll be seeing those soon. Uh, I might start doing my reviews um, maybe about the time that the final beta comes out. Um, you know, just because I want them all to be out by the time the official release uh, um, hits the street, so to speak. So anyway, we've got that coming up, and let me drag this over. This week I downloaded OpenShot 2.0's beta. I think this is beta 2, beta 3, I'm not sure. It's the it's the most recent beta. Um, been playing around with it a bit for a couple of days, and I've got to say the, the improvements are, are huge. There's they've just done so much work to this uh, to this uh, video editor I'm really thinking and uh, you know I'm not 100% sure yet but I'm thinking that once this hits final that I may switch from Caden live to open shot uh, you know I use uh, open shot way back when I did my first few videos uh, still learning the whole video thing and at that time I think that might have been open shot one one dot two, maybe it was one dot four. But anyway, at, at that point, the tools felt clumsy and imprecise as far as like clipping, uh, cutting your clips and that sort of thing. Um, so I really wasn't happy whether that's why I ended up switching to Caden Live, and I really like Caden Live. But uh, a lot of what I'm seeing here in this this new version of Open Shot. Um, it may get me to switch. So I'll be having a little review on that pretty soon. Let me get this out of the way. You will probably also see um, a few Windows repair uh, videos. Now you're thinking, oh, why am I doing Windows? You know, I'm the person that has sworn off Windows and all that. Well, it is, it is not an endorsement of Windows or anything like that. It, it really comes down to practicality. I have been doing... Uh, um, some repair jobs locally uh, people that have had trouble with uh, you know they tried to upgrade to Windows 10 and you know everything went kaplooey on them or you know they have gotten major virus infections and their computer is no longer working and I've been doing these repair jobs well if I'm doing them I might as well go and record them and throw them up on the YouTube channel and uh, you know, hopefully uh, somebody out there finds it useful. So you'll probably see a few videos on that. Definitely more hardware videos just because I'm going to have access to more computers the more I do these repair jobs. So there's all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, was there anything? Oh yeah, one other thing. Um, you know, I mentioned my blog page a little earlier. I am looking for contributors to the blog page, so if any of you would like to try your hand at writing up some tutorials, software review, uh, whatever, uh, contact me. You can do it through uh, you know, the YouTube channel, the messaging system, or G+, or email, however you want to do it. Um, 
but let me know and uh, if you want to be a contributor and uh, and the content looks good I'd love to throw it up on the blog so that uh, you know I can I can keep the content rolling so to speak and having said that I think that just about finishes this video up as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below I try to get to them as soon as possible and as always I hope to see you all on the next video thanks a lot <laughs>